Okay, I have another market update. April's already over, I can't believe it. So we're gonna check out the March numbers compared to April. And then at the end, I'm gonna go over some different stats and talk about what's going on with our inventory. So let's check out some of these numbers. Okay, comparing our March chart to our April chart, you can see we've got quite a few more listings than we did last month, uh, new listings. This is, however, down year over year. I'll get into that a little bit later. Our closings are down quite a bit this month, uh, but our pendings are up a little bit. So we'll check out the percentage differences of these in the next uh, slide. Okay, checking out the percentage difference here is we have uh, total active single families. We we're at 240, which is 11% higher. So those new listings coming in, which were 26% higher than in March. Our clothes are down 14%. For whatever reason, there was uh, a little bit more back from pendings this month, and, but our pendings are 7% higher than in March. Uh, our months of inventory were actually even for the first time in a while. So our, uh, our single month and our average over four months are both the same at 2.4 months. So that's still seller's market. Got to get to five to get to a balanced market there. So looking at our new listings average price, we're at 476000 which is up from 449 last month. So a little jump there. Our median sold price is at 415 which is up from 382 last month. Our average days on market, it's at 54, which is exactly the same as it was last month. So then I, I wanna go and I wanna talk about our new listings and inventory real quick. So back to when I was talking about the new listings earlier. So year over year, new listings are down 36%, and that's a pretty big jump. So if you looked at about where our inventory was last year around this time, we're about half as much. So that's why we're back into the multiple offer situations on some of these houses that are priced reasonable under 400,000. There's a lot of competition for those. There is only six, 60 houses for sale right now under 400,000. So that's uh, leading to that little bit of competition that we've been talking about for the last couple of these market updates that I've done. So that's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the market or any houses. If you want to check something out, let me know. I'll certainly uh, help you out. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.